Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Going to do your, where are we, next two weeks reading. See what the energies are playing out for you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, I do these readings here. They're uploaded every two weeks, okay? So let's get into this, Libra. You've got the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. All right, so, yep, someone's, looks like someone's, someone wants to chase you, Libra, but they're kind of hesitant. They got up some serious boundaries. I feel like with the nine of wands, this person shows up as being kind of like, they're persistent in not chasing you. <laughs> they're being very, I don't know why. All right, there's a there's a blockage, huh? That's interesting. Hmm. Chaser, but look at that. Not chasing. Chaser, no chasing. That's what I feel like is going on here. Let's see. Someone is saying they're not going to chase you for love. Okay. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. Somebody, somebody wants to chase you or somebody who did before um is stopped or is not because they think you're already with someone or you're already married or something to do with your family um, they're blocking this all right i just saw the king of wands so that's that's fire energy okay aries leo sag yeah somebody is or maybe you're blocking someone from coming after you libra because you have somebody already or you have an interest in another person right um you also could be uh with somebody else and you're blocking this person from trying to come in okay or i yeah it's crazy because i feel like this person whoever this person is whether it's a fire sign or whomever they have chaser vibes they're very codependent they're very needy but for some reason here, well, a couple of the reasons that I just said, they are kind of keeping their distance from you this, these next couple of weeks here. They're keeping their distance from you. I look at this Nine of Wands, and even though the energy of this card does represent keeping and maintaining boundaries and being very persistent, this person... The, enter, the person on this card is really beat up. <laughs> okay, they're really beat up. Let's take a look here. See what your energy is. All right, so you have the sun. Yeah, you're blocking somebody. You've, you're, you're like... <sighs> hmm, that's interesting. I mean, your energy is like you're very positive. You have very positive energy here with the sun. And for others of you, oh my gosh, they just said, you, Libra, are not chasing anybody. You're not chasing. So this person who comes across to me as someone who acts like that is pushing back on that. And you are like, okay, fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Do what you need to do. <laughs> You're maintaining your balance. You're not chasing after anyone. You're out in the sun. You're being happy. You're being joyful. You're being free. You're being true to yourself. You're doing whatever it is that you need to do for yourself. Okay? So whoever this person is to you, Libra, okay, who is just got an extreme fear of rejection or abandonment, isn't chasing after you because they don't want to be rejected because they think that maybe you're going to reject them. And you're just, you're just here like, okay, that's your decision. You're not chasing them back to try to, you know, the next two weeks say, no, 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 I do. Da, 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 da. No, you're not doing anything. You're staying very balanced here. Even maybe even looking at your other options or just blocking that person. Um, you're not making a compromise in regards to anything here. 
Yep, you're focusing on the opportunities that are available to you. If someone's not available to you, then, then you don't want it. That's what I feel like is going on here with you, Libra. Your energy is if you don't offer, you saying to another person, if you're not going to come forward, then I don't want you. That's what you're doing. And if you're with someone else, you're just not, you're not going after another person. You're pretty much, Libra, it feels like, if you knock on my door and you come forward with an offer, then I, maybe I'll think about it. I'll make a decision then. I'll weigh it out. Otherwise, you're shutting your door and going back to your Netflix <laughs> or whatever you do with your life. You might have a child. You might have a grandchild around you. Whatever you're doing, Libra, your, your whole motto for the next two weeks especially is you're not chasing after anybody. If anything, you're chasing money or you're chasing your goals or your own dreams, okay? Now, you could have somebody that you're already partnered with and they're being hesitant. And I, But I still can't get over the message here that you're just like, okay, Virgo, why did I say it? Sorry, that's a habit. Well, maybe you're on the cusp of uh, Virgo Libra. I just kind of feel like your overall energy these next two weeks is have at it um you're not searching for problems you're not looking for problems you're not looking for drama okay that that's the overall message i'm getting here okay you're not looking for any problems if there's an argument or something happened with you and your person you're leaving it be if they want to come and apologize to you then you might talk to them or maybe make a compromise and try to figure stuff out. Otherwise, you're you're not chasing anybody down to get some kind of... There might be some pride involved with another person here. They're full of pride. Yeah, it feels like that. It does feel like a pride thing. Here you go. Five of, uh, five of swords. There's pride. Ego. <laughs> okay. That's fine. You're just like, all right, that's fine. It is what it is. If someone wants to be um, like up in their ego, um, then they, you know, pride comes before a fall. So I kind of feel like your energy is just like, it's whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna, okay. Someone wants a second chance with you. That's for sure. Okay, put away the computer. I'm hearing working less will help strengthen your relationship. Somebody might be upset about another person spending too much time on the computer. There might have been an argument about that. Yep, there's some time apart. This is a soulmate connection. So it feels like the next couple weeks, <clears throat> there's some drama. And maybe somebody's giving you a hard time about something. Um, and they're holding back from trying to come towards you and figure stuff out. and uh, Or try to work stuff out. There might be a silent treatment energy happening. And, and like I said, you're just you don't care <laughs> i mean it's not that you don't care but you're not sweating it you're pretty much like okay well you know we'll talk another time um uh, maybe you're going away for the next couple weeks or you're traveling or you're busy doing something or you know you're working whatever you got going on your energy is deal with it next time but you also have warning don't dismiss these some there's red flags someone's a bit obsessed with you libra someone is a bit obsessed hmm yep i told you rejection they're not coming after you they're not trying to work things out they're not trying to chase you because they don't want to be rejected so they're giving silent treatment or they don't want to have it's weird it's it feels like a game it feels like some game playing going on here it really does okay let me get a few more messages here for you what other messages for Libra? What else does Libra need to know? Next couple of weeks. All right. You know, this could be a friend as well. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. Um, this could be a friend or a sibling or f a family member. Um, ch children or childhood. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. And romanticizing how things used to be. 
Um, for some of you, this is a sibling, or maybe if you call a cousin, a, a brother or sister. It's a connection for some of you that this relates to something to do with children. It could be an argument that has to do with children. It could be arguments between siblings. It could be a romantic partner. Okay, you also have... Wow, Nine of Cups, wishes coming true. Your dreams become reality. This is a magical time of life. Your good fortune is behind you. Faith in the universe that all will be well. And you also have the Knight of Wands. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless energy. Events will require immediate action soon. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship is uh, present these next two weeks. Okay, and then there's also focusing on the negative. Things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self or others is needed. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessing. All right, you have some interesting messages, Libra, for the next couple of weeks. So I'm not predicting an argument. I feel like something... Something may have already occurred, and right now you're both in this energy... If you are not having an argument with someone, obviously, if everything's cool with you and others, this may not be your reading, but there is a chance that the energy could happen sometime in these two weeks, although I'm not specifically predicting some kind of argument. I do feel like there might be some, there might be two people here who are estranged from one another due to some other issues or some other things that might have happened. All right, so... Is there anything else here? A couple of charms. Let's see what else. What else do you need to know? Libra. All right. So you've got a fishbone. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let me see what this message is here. Fishbone. Oh. Hmm. So I do feel like there might be an issue, <clears throat> excuse me, something to do here with not eating enough. Somebody might not be eating enough. I don't know what in relation to this reading that has, but that's the first thing I'm picking up here. Somebody's not eating enough. It's like skin and bones. Well, this is just bones. Um, so there might be like a, an, an eating issue. Um, disorder or something along those lines that somebody's dealing with and I'm very sorry if you or someone close to you is dealing with that that's a very difficult thing um, especially when there's a loved one care so much if it's you um, it's something that maybe you don't think you have a problem with that you might you might need to take a look at that maybe you think you might I, I'm not really sure I, I'm not sure exactly who it is but I do feel like there is an issue with that and also I'm just picking up somebody might have like some stray animals that's eating their garbage <laughs> so you might want to get your lid tight tighten the lids on your garbage cans okay you also have love so this is beautiful this could be a tattoo or somebody uh, is practicing some cursive handwriting which I don't think people do that anymore but there's something to do with love and you also have a really pretty I want to say that's a sunflower or a daisy. So somebody's name might be Daisy. There might be a connection to daisies. It's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a flower with green petals. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, okay. This maybe it's a daisy clock, or someone has like a flower clock. That's what they just said. Somebody has some kind of a flower clock, like it's got. It might have numbers, it might not, or some kind of connection to a flower clock or flowers, planting flowers over the next couple of weeks or doing something with flowers, growing them. All right, very interesting. I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I hope that brought you some insight. Um, I will see you all back here on July 14th. All right, so have a great next two weeks. I'll see you very soon. Take care. No one likes being like you. You made this mess and left me with.